Hi there. Today I am going to show you how to use keyboard shortcuts in Seesaw. This is a great way to save some time while you're creating templates for your students. I have gone ahead and snipped this, the shortcut key into the template and I will also post the link to this shortcut template into the description. The first one I'm going to show you is move. It's really easy to move the different items around in your template by using the arrow keys on your keyboard. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the text I want to move and then without clicking my mouse I'm going to use the arrow keys on my keyboard to move this to the right spot. The next one that is helpful is rotating. Sometimes you might need to rotate a picture. <clears throat> Click on the picture, choose Alt, and then the left arrow to rotate it left, or Alt and the right arrow to rotate it right. You can also cut, Control X, Paste, Control V, or Copy, Control C and then I can paste it again. The one that I'm really excited about is duplicate. A lot of times we use duplicate to make a, an additional copy of something. Instead of having to click on these dots and go to duplicate, I can just do control D on my keyboard and it will duplicate what I have selected. Another one that is helpful is bring to front. Select what you want to bring to front and on your keyboard do control and the up arrow and it will bring it to front. If I want to send it to back, I will do control and the down arrow to send it back. Another helpful one is to lock items in place. Oftentimes we use this so that students cannot move our templates around. Click on the item that you want to lock, and on your keyboard do Control, Shift, and a lowercase l. And now that item is locked. There's also Undo, Control Z, and Redo, Control Y if you're using Google Chrome. I hope these tricks and shortcuts save you some time when you're creating templates.